Mars flashlight. <laughs> Pretty tight. I don't know. This hymen ain't nothing to fuck with. <laughs> Perhaps. <laughs> it's uh, doing. It spins around at various speeds. You get different sounds at different speeds. We've received one very good review by uh, Sarah. Sarah lit music. She boogered. Uh, <laughs> That's, that's as good as our press gets. It, it's finally out on vinyl. There was like a three-month delay, but people can buy it from tightnuns.com. It's real. It's nice. It's three different colors. And uh, they smell like maple if you scratch them. <laughs> The album cover was done by uh, our friend Tori at Art Drug Records. He actually bastardized one of his... By bastardized, I mean like remixed. His father was an yeah. artist as well who yeah. had a huge painting, and he sectioned off one part of it and modified it uh, and based it loosely on dreams he had of Corey's face. Oh, I see. <laughs> some people... <laughs> some people have claimed to recognize the face of the man on the it's, album. I find as... it looks like me, which is totally weird. A lot of people don't, but <laughs> yeah. when I first saw it, I'm like, what? Why? What the hell? That's I always weird. Found, I always found Tori when we played. But it's, there's, it's Tori completely coincidental. on Corey all the time. Yeah, right. They're both bass players. It makes sense. But it's pretty sick shit. Tori and his father fram jammed on that. Fram jammed. Fram jammed. Uh, that's that's mostly like just how strong is the Dillinger Four influence in your life, and if you're into punk rock like I was, it's just something that's always playing in the background. So when you're trying to be a smartass and you're writing a song title, it's just like I wrote it all in one thing, just like. One of my favorite songs on one of their albums. So it's just, it's in my veins. It was never trying to be like them, but there's so much involved in my life that it was inescapable at the time. Like sweating fucking onions. I never even saw anything until, like, when you at the album name, whatever, I'm like, oh, it looks like that fucking album name by that band. And uh, somebody had mentioned maybe it's you. I was fucking that stoked. Was like, Sarah got it. I Sarah didn't. Gobby, I never knew it, but I never listened. Bang to on! First reviewer, uh, like every one to like the mm. major ones were all there. I was flattered. It was sick. Am I allowed to know that you're Sarah? I am your father. I feel like we're at the next level of our relationship. Like when your girlfriend wears the full rubber suit for the first time. <laughs> With the zipper mouth. I'm not sure how to treat her yet. <laughs> I don't know. I've never met your kids. <laughs> uh, I think I think Anakin is a bitch. Anakin is a bitch. Yes. Uh, well, we've got some big plans. It starts with uh, going into the studio to work on a project titled "Kiss the Ring, Suck the Cock," and that's going to be our, our big thing. We're going to. Uh, we're going to approach releasing music differently than we, we have in the past, and it's going to change some shit up. It's definitely funner to play on guitar. Yeah, I don't know what that means. It doesn't mean anything, really. I think he's just, uh, just being on different levels. I don't know. And what does it mean? It just means we're going to keep rocking, playing longer songs. You know, songs aren't always just going to be a minute, a minute and a half. Uh, a lot of our new material, the songs are getting really crazy long, but it's it's yeah. cool, man. It's yeah. still punk rock. It's just different. And the band is is set up to be more of a real band too. Like it used to be, uh, mostly just dudes getting together to only have fun and like get fucked up and play music. We're still doing that, but we now have it set up where we can go places with vehicles to drive sober to get there and play music in different towns and shit as opposed to just being like a party only in Toronto. Wanna to take this party, fucking spread the disease around. 
Exactly. Have a good time. Spread the disease. Kiss rings and suck cocks <laughs> everywhere. That is feasible. Oh, you like to have a good fucking time, man. It's not just the album, man. The album is a recorded studio project. The band is an experience. And people need to fucking understand what Tight Nuns is all about. It's the fucking experience. Yes, I God, like a I boner do. list of who we could play a show with. I would, I would love to play with fucking Burning Love. I was gonna say like fucking. Pirates. Very sick. Not pirates. that it would make sense at all for like a punk band to play with them. Yeah. But yeah. like they're just amazing performers that I love seeing live. Yeah, Pyres too. Yeah. Just the experience. Heavy shit. Heavy shit. Be Still record release is happening on the January 28th. 28th, yeah. 28th. I think they're trying to release that information to the world first, but it's not like people are looking for our interviews. So, And then World Domination. And World Domination, yeah. We're going to team up with uh, Pinky and the Brain, <laughs> and we are going to conquer the world. They, I don't think they've done a good job of doing it alone, so if we team up, I think we'll be successful. Narf. Definitely. Narf! <laughs> sick, sick dude. I'm actually uh, happy to say that I've had sexual relations with the woman who is related to Alec Guinness.